Okay, the BRIC countries, these are Brazil, uh, China, India, and Russia. They were all in bear markets. Uh, you see this is that red line's above the blue line, above the yellow line in India. You see the double death cross that took place. Um, in fact, even before it took place, the blue line, 200-day uh, cross, the, um, the three, uh, 325, or actually the 40-week cross, the 65-week in this case. So uh, this is a total bearish pattern. The technical indicators are all bearish also. Next. So India could go down for years, actually. China, um, quite interesting, the Chinese market lost 40 percent. And, and, and technically speaking, it's not in a bear market yet. It made that double death cross, but by the time he did that, it was already down 40 percent. That blue line still needs to cross that red line and hasn't done it yet. So in that case, it will be in a bear market. And, you know, it was in a bubble. It was in a, not nearly as bad a bubble as 2006. But so when that happens, it actually can go much lower. How much lower, we don't know. But if you start off with 40% lower, it can be 50, 60, 70%, <laughs> or 80%. So yeah, China can be, and it can go on for years. So China can get quite ugly. Next. OK, didn't we just do this? No, you did. Oh, OK, I thought we were doing India. <laughs> OK, it looks exactly the same, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it looks the same. Uh, no, you've got the red line above the blue line, above the yellow line, which is a bear pattern. You have the double death cross. It turned into the bear pattern. The R size below 50, which is bearish. The MACD is below zero, which is bearish. The uh, DMI has been on a sell signal since last uh, May. So this is uh, totally bearish. These, all of these, let's look at Russia next. All of these BRIC, the BRIC countries are the biggest emerging market countries. They are all in very distinct bear patterns. And it makes sense. Emerging markets tend to be dependent on commodities. Commodities have been in the bear market for like three years or so. So it makes sense their stocks should go into bear markets. Uh, Russia has been in a bear for about forever at this point. Um, years, it's longer than this. chart's only three years long. So it has that bear pattern with the red line above the blue line, above the yellow line. And this has been going on, as I said, for years. Uh, everything else is negative. Uh, if you notice the DMI pattern all the way from uh, the far left, you, except on rare occasion, the red line's above the blue line and the black line keeps crossing. So that's one sell signal after another, after another, after another. Now, at some point, Russia will bottom, and it may be close to a bottom. It may not go much lower. Oil, low oil prices are killing Russia. So um, when that goes up, Russia might uh, also, like, explode upwards uh, briefly. So, and then the bottom in 2008, or early 2009, you know, Russia was a great buy. You actually, I mean, it full, tends to fall apart because it's disastrously and poorly run. And, and then you make lots of money when it goes back up. So, we're not ready yet. But you, when oil has a big rally, you might see a big rally in Russia also.